Hi birders, Joe the Springbrook Birder for the DuPage Birding Club. I'm out again at Springbrook Prairie at one of the woodlots. So that means we're going to talk about a group of birds today that like the wooded habitat. And for today's tutorial on birding by ear, we're going to talk about the vireos. There are a number of species of vireo that we can find in DuPage County, both during migration and as nesting birds during the summer. Most of them really prefer wooded habitat or wooded edge habitat. The one that's different is the Bell's Vireo. And that's because it really likes shrublands. So you're not gonna find it in the woods. You're gonna find it in shrubby areas. But the rest of the Vireo are associated with woodlands or woodland edges. Now the Vireos are a nice group of birds to, to see. In terms of plumage, they have some distinguishing characteristics. But then again, they also have different calls and songs. And a lot of times you can identify the Vireos by their calls and songs. And again, it's one of those birding by ear skills that will help you in your identification. So for today's video, we're going to look at birding by ear for the Vireo group. Let's get started. We have seven species of vireos that normally show up in DuPage County. White-eyed vireo, red-eyed vireo, yellow-throated vireo, warbling vireo, two-headed vireo, Philadelphia vireo, and Bell's vireo. Vireos are a group of small birds that look very similar and can be confusing as shown on the following slide. As you can see, some of the vireos are boldly marked and can easily be separated when you see them, such as the yellow-throated vireo. Others have subtle differences in plumage, such as the warbling and Philadelphia vireo. And they can be difficult to separate visually. With careful study of the field marks, I think all the vireos are identifiable in the field. An additional aid to help you identify them is what the vireo sound like. Each species of vireo has a unique song and call that will help in identifying them. That, of course, requires that you hear them in the field and that they're singing. Learning the songs and calls of the vireos will help identify them. All the species can be identified by ear since each species has a unique song that it sings during spring migration and the nesting season. In addition, some have unique call notes that also can be used. So learning the plumage differences and the songs and calls of the vireos will help you become an expert in identifying them. Of the seven species of vireos, two species, blue-headed and Philadelphia, are strictly migrants in our area. Red-eyed, warbling, and yellow-throated commonly nest in our DuPage County woodlands. The Bell's vireo is an uncommon nesting species in open shrublands. The white-eyed vireo is an uncommon migrant and nesting species in wooded edge thicket habitat. In addition to, to plumage field marks and songs, the type of habitat where you are birding can also be a clue as to what vireo you are seeing. So let's get started learning the songs and calls of our vireos. The photos and recordings that follow are generally from the Cornell Laboratory of Ornithology, All About Birds website. The Cornell Guide to Bird Sounds, United States and Canada. 
We'll start with the easier ones to learn and remember. Our first vireo is the warbling vireo. Warbling vireo is a bird of woodland edges near open habitat with some tall trees. It usually sings from the top of the trees. And here is its song. Warbly Vireo has a fastest cadence of all the Vireo songs. It sounds like it's being rushed. It also has a very characteristic call note. Often, if you are wondering if it is a Warbly Vireo, Hearing that call note can verify the ID. The next vireo with a unique or different song is the white eyed vireo. This is a species of woodland edges and thickets and is found in heavy undergrowth. It generally sings from lower perches than the other vireos, and here is its song. Again, a very distinctive song. Here's the call note. So I think you should be able to pick out the white eyed vireos by their sound. The Bell's Vireo is an uncommon species in DuPage County, and it needs open shrubby habitats with some very dense shrub thickets where it nests. This is its song. It has a much more buzzy or raspy quality. You can often hear their song long before you will ever see the bells, since it likes to keep hidden and sing from within the shrub thickets. Knowing the bell stereo song is very useful in be being able to identify and find this species. The next species is the red eye vireo, the most common vireo. It's a woodland species that most often sings from the treetops. This is a song of the red eyed vireo. Red eyed vireos are prolific and constant singers. And that is one characteristic of their song. It keeps going and going and going for a very long time. They also have a somewhat unique call note. The remaining three vireos sound somewhat alike and can be more difficult to separate by ear. Blue headed vireo is a fairly common migrant, and is often the first vireo to arrive in the spring. The song of the blue headed vireo has a much slower cadence and has a clear whistling quality.
Caldo also helps identify the species. The yellow-throated vireo is also a woodland species, but it's one that nests in DuPage County. The song of the yellow-throated vireo is very similar to that of the blue-headed, but it has a much more raspy tone to it. Its call note is also different. The last vireo is the Philadelphia vireo, which is one of the less common vireos during migration in our area. It's also found in woodland, and its song sounds like this. It is similar to the songs of the last two species. So we have to be careful in separating them. My impression is that Philadelphia vireos do not sing as much as the other vireos as they pass through the migration. Here's the call note for the Philadelphia. <laughs> As I said, separating the last three species by song can be somewhat difficult. So let's take another listen to those songs. Yellow-throated is much more raspy. Listen for the three notes in its song. For the blue-headed, keep in mind the very whistly tones and quality, as well as the slowness of the song. And for the Philadelphia, listen for a quicker cadence. And there are often three rapid chi 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 notes in its song. Listen to those three vireo songs often. You will eventually be able to separate them when you hear them in the field. The seven species of vireos that we see in DuPage County pose some field ID issues. Getting to know their songs and calls and helping their identification. And there's another group of birds where birding by ear skills can greatly help in improving your birding. Learning the songs of the vireos will certainly help to separate the seven species that you will find while you're out birding. Using a combination of visual field marks and sounds will let you identify the species in this group and will really improve your birding abilities.
Well, alrighty then. Let's see how well you can separate the variables after one lesson. It's quiz time. Number one. Number two. Number three. The fourth burial. Number five. That should have been an easy one. Number six. was the one that sounds really different than the last one. And here are the answers. Hopefully, after our, our introduction to the Vireo sound today, we're able to identify some of the sounds. Don't worry, it just takes practice to learn them all. Listen carefully to their songs. You can find recordings of them on the internet or on a birding app that you may have on your phone. Today, we cover the Vireo group in our series of Birding by Ear videos. I hope you found it useful and it helped a little in your journey on becoming a better birder. For the DuPage Birding Club, this is Joe the Springbrook Birder with another mini tutorial on all things birds and bird related. Remember, bird with a purpose.